Yes, that's right. It's time for Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. Let's jump in. Not like that. Oh, no. Yes, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. And we're back with another episode of Show Us Your Cat coming to you from Vasiliki on the island of Lefkos in Greece where the champagne sailing conditions haven't quite started yet but I am assured that come April sort of time then we're going to be switching the champagne sailing conditions on and we'll be getting back out on the water which is what I've been waiting for for the whole winter. Anyway, show us your cat. If you haven't watched Show Us Your Cat before, what the idea is here is that people have been sending in the pictures and videos of their catamarans and um, I've been displaying them here on this video every week, uh, 5.30 Greek time on a Sunday, Show Us Your Cat. So if you're not yet subscribed, you should subscribe because then you'll know when the next episode is coming out. Um, but if you're subscribed or not, please hit the like button. Thanks. Okay, so let's jump in and have a look and see what we're looking at in this week's Show Us Your Cat. Okay, so we're gonna kick this week off with heading to Western Australia, to Perth, uh, on the Harvey Estuary in Mandura. We've got Ronan. Ronan's got a Hobie 17. Uh, it's about a 1990 model. And this, I think you'll find, is an absolute rude boy. If you're not familiar with the Hobie 17, the Hobie 17 was Hobie's idea of a performance single-handed racing catamaran originally from 1985. It's got a 15.6 square metre mainsail, 17 feet long, 2.4 metres wide. That's the same width as a Hobie 16. But then it has these wings, which gives it amazing upwind performance. And it is one hell of a ride, if you can ever get a go on one. Um, and it's only 150 kilos, so relatively lightweight. For such a big boat. I think also it looks like where Ronan is sailing is an absolute sailing paradise. The colour of the water is very nice and it looks like a really tremendous place to go sailing. And I think uh, this could be a feature in how do you get yours there but we can just see these uh, innovative modifications that Ronan has made to his trailer to get it down to the boat park, um, I think that should win a prize, if nothing else. But uh, thanks very much, Ronan, for sending those pictures of your 17 in. Uh, it is a great looking boat, and we hope that you have some great sailing. If you're going out again, get the GPS on, and let's get you on the speed stick. Thank you very much. Okay, next we are going around the world now to the UK, to Plymouth, where we have Thomas, who has a Sprint 15. The Sprint 15 uh, is mostly sailed in the UK and Europe, but um, it's been around for some time. It is the smaller version of a Dart 18, designed by Rodney March, who also designed the Dart 18 and the Tornado, in fact. Um, it came out in 1979 and was called the Spark. And then a bit later on, it became the Dart 18 as it was made by the same uh, manufacturer as the Dart 18. And then since 2005, the Sprint 15 changed its name to Sprint 15 and started getting built in South Africa. And um, it's got a great racing fleet in the UK. So if you're looking for a fairly manageable single-handed catamaran to race in the UK or Europe, then the Sprint 15 or Dart 15 or Spark is a pretty good option. They've got a very active racing circuit and um, a great bunch of people who sail them in the UK. 
it is a good alternative to the Hobie 14. That would be Hobie's equivalent. But the Sprint 15 is much easier to sail than the Hobie 14, which I have heard in the past called a witch. Anyway, so um, thanks very much for sending in those pictures there, Thomas, of your Sprint 15. Great boat, nice place to go sailing as well down in Plymouth on the south coast. So now we're going to head to Mexico, to Tulum, where we have George, who has got a Hobie getaway called Ross. In my opinion, that's an unusual name for a boat. Maybe there's a story there, but um, there it is. Um, now, George keeps his getaway on the beach near his home, and he has found evidence that other people may have been using his boat, but for a completely different sport. Anyway, the getaway has been around since 2001. It's a plastic boat, so very durable. This boat will last forever. Um, 16 feet long, 2.3 meters wide, and a 17 meter sail area on there. Um, it's an excellent boat just for going out cruising, blasting, having a good time, zero maintenance, very easy to sail, low risk of the capsize. Um, it is 177 kilograms, so it is a little bit on the weighty side for handling on the beach, but very nice, all the same. Nice to be able to get out and cruise with your buddies on your getaway. So thanks very much there, George, for sending in those pictures of your getaway. And what an absolutely glamorous place to go sailing there on the Caribbean coast of Mexico. Very nice indeed. I'm going to put that on the tour. So I'll be coming to see you. Um, yes, yeah, so thanks very much for those pictures there, George. So I think you'll agree those were some absolutely fantastic looking boats. Um, that Hobie 17 especially just blew me away. But the Getaway and the Dart 15, sorry, the Sprint 15, great boats as well. Um, so if you would like to be featured in an upcoming episode of Show Us Your Cat, then um, all you need to do is check out the description below and there'll be the full instructions there of what you need to do. But basically just email me with photographs or video um, of your boat if you are going out and specifically photographing your boat if you could take your photographs in the landscape format not in portrait uh, that just means it fills the screen better for the video if you have already sent pictures or video in but you're yet to be featured then don't worry, I believe I might have said this last week. I said it last week, I think I've said this most weeks. Don't worry, you will be featured in the upcoming weeks that I'm putting the boats onto these videos in order of which they came in. There we are. Um, yeah, so uh, keep the pictures and video coming in. Other things that are going on, uh, the speed stick is going strong. I'll be putting a new episode of the Speed Stick update together for uh, the start of next week. So uh, you can check out the results of what's been going on on the Speed Stick there. Also, if you're selling a boat or if you're looking to buy a boat, send me the details and um, you may not have seen, but I've been doing um, are you selling or buying a boat videos. Very nice, especially if you're selling a boat because uh, it's getting the word out. I think these videos, that I've done two so far, they're averaging about 800 views. That's quite a lot of people who have seen the boats that are for sale there, which is surely going to up the chance of selling a boat, your boat. Also, thank you very much to everybody who has been contributing to the channel in some way, who has been supporting the channel whether it's been through Patreon, or perhaps you visited the totaljoyrider.com online store and purchased a t-shirt or a hoodie uh, such as this. 
beautiful example. Um, I'm doing custom t-shirts as well. So if you want the name of your boat on a t-shirt, I could put the name of your boat on anything. Um, just send me an email with what it is that you would like and what you'd like it on. And I'll put a design together. I've got spare time at the moment. Um, I'll put a design together and I'll send you what the design will look like before you commit. That sounds pretty good to me. But otherwise, thanks very much for watching. Be back next week with more Show Us Your Cat, but we'll be having a speed stick update before then. And if anybody else is sending me pictures or anything of buying or selling boats, then I will put a video together for that as well. So there we go. We've got the fishing boat coming in, so I'm just gonna go and get the kippers for me breakfast, and then I will see you next week with some more. Show us your cat, thank you very much.